is <laughs> under the government of the Lord. You may have seen a fair lady you want to marry, but the government comes and says, this is your wife. What, is, what happens now is that you sacrifice your emotion because you are of the nobles. The nobles don't marry because of love. They marry for kingdom. <laughs> it's not given to man that walketh to order his steps. So even when the whole idea looks correct, there's a way that cement right onto a man. The end thereof is death. Death not necessarily because your life will end, but death because you'll be separated from God. There will be no witness for it in Zion. And if you know that, you can't step out until every step we should take was already written before we were born. The hardest thing to do is to live. But earthly creatures think life is bread. They don't know that life is actually the statement of the will of God. I'm talking like this because most of us are young people. <laughs> Somebody called me today and said, mm. the husband said, no, divorce. And the wife said, can you imagine? Can you? I said, well, as much as I know, when you enter marriage, it's a cage. You have no choice again. You had a choice before you entered. Now that you have entered, you have no choice. <laughs> and go and check the Bible. It didn't say marry who you love. You are only commanded to love who you marry. <laughs> and when I read the Bible, I discovered spirits don't consider love to be emotion. They consider love to be sacrifice. So for the woman, love is submission. For the man, love is sacrifice. So the feeling may not be there again, but it's called marriage. And in marriage, you have no choice. It's taken away. So go back. I said the, the problem of marriage is one, it's flesh. And the cure of marriage is supply of the spirit. So the Bible said, be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess, but be filled with the spirit. Speaking to yourself in psalms, in hymns, in spiritual song, making melody in your heart to the Lord. When you are now full of the spirit, it now says, submit yourself one to another. Because he knows that flesh will not allow you to submit yourself. So he said, first, be full of the spirit. When you are full of the spirit, it's easy to submit as a wife. And when you are full of the spirit, it's easy to sacrifice as the man. If you are not, there will be crisis. That's the wisdom of the immortals. He know that in time, there will be many options. So he banished, he sentenced you. You are a sentenced person. That's why you cannot live your life except as God speaks. <laughs>